What's going on, y'all? Uh, so I just got back from Sweetwater's Gear Fest, their annual gear expo that they do every year. Uh, got to see a lot of familiar faces, check out a lot of gear, and meet some new people. Um, gear Fest is free, so if you live near or around the Fort Wayne area, and you're a couple hundred miles away, I highly suggest checking it out. Uh, for me, AES and NAM is just too far, uh, winter NAM. Um, so I always go to Sweetwater Gear Fest, but I got to check out the Presona CS18 AI, which is their new controller. Um, and one of the things I love about it is that it allows you to map your, it allows you to map, the knobs on it will allow you to map those to control your plugins. And so I wanna show you is today is how you can use a control. Uh, if you have a MIDI keyboard uh, that's assignable with knobs and faders and buttons, I'm gonna show you how you can use that to map uh, your plugins. And so I have here my uh, Nectar LX, uh, 49, which to me is the best MIDI keyboard, especially for Studio One, because it integrates well with Studio One, and a lot of the stock plugins are already mapped with the knobs uh, for uh, Studio One. Uh, so I'm going to show this with some Waves plugins, how you can map it. Uh, so, for example, we're going to grab the CLA uh, CLA 2A, and it only has two controls, the gain and the peak reduction. So we'll start with mapping that first. Uh, so what you want to do is make sure right here you have your keyboard or, or your controller uh, selected and you can drop it down and select it here. And all you do is select on the parameter that you want to assign and up here you'll see it, it change. And I'm going to grab the first knob here, turn it, and then from there, option M is the shortcut, and you see this yellow arrow lit up to show that it's now assigned. So when I turn this first knob, my gain will turn. And for the second knob, we'll map that to the peak reduction. So I've got my gain and my peak reduction. And these will save globally, so any session I open up, these will work in. Uh, let's quickly map the, let's do the CLA 76. So we'll make the first one, we'll make the first knob the input. Second knob output, and we've got to drop that down so you can see it. First knob now, it should control the input, let's see. There we go. And second one output. Third and fourth, we can map that to attack and release. And all you have to do is click on the parameter you want, turn the knob you want, option M, uh, or you can just click this, this arrow here and it'll link it. So now I've got my input, output, attack, and release. So very easy to assign your your plugins to uh, to a control surface or a controller. Now, if you want to see what you're capable of controlling with your controller, all you have to do is select the drop down and select your controller and you'll get a pop-up and if I just open this up you'll see I've got the option to assign uh, F1 through F8 which is my faders F1 uh, through F8 my eight faders uh, my four pads and my eight knobs so whatever controller you select in that drop-down will show you what you can what is assignable on that controller for example if I select my fader port I get an icon of the fader port and what I can uh, assign, which is the pan and the user. All right, so that's how you assign your plugins to be controlled by a controller. Um, all right, I'll catch y'all next time.